Hi, I'm Stephen Hare from Archery Supplies, and today we're going to look at the new Toe Point Blade Arrow RS. Now, Toe Point produce a whole bunch of accessories for, well, I'd say, for a whole bunch of companies, but they do their own brand too, and this is their brand. It's new out, literally just came in the shipping container, so I wanted to show it to you. I haven't actually opened one yet. Now, one of the things which is great about Toe Point, um, one is the price point. Their pricing is like really, really affordable. They produce pretty good good quality gear like so I haven't had too many problems with their products um, but what I love about Toe Point is the colors so this rest comes in pretty much any color you can think of so if you've got a green bow you can match, get a green one of these if you've got a purple bow you can get a purple one of these you can get a purple side you can get purple stabilizers you can match it up and for target arches for people with recreational arches color is very important you've got no idea how many people come in my shop and say I want a purple bow like what's the what's the price point which bow do you want no i want a purple bow so color is really important that's where this comes into it now price point is huge for customers now some customers don't have an issue with price and it's not a issue for them but for the majority of customers and i'm just pulling this out because it feels like there's more stuff in here um for most customers they're very price sensitive so a customer came in today and his budget was 550 for a complete kit so he originally started with 400 dollars for a complete kit that's a bow compound bow sights arrow rest arrows and all that sort of stuff and then he pushed it to 550 dollars so which is basically crossing out all your american products so you're into the chinese product um and we got him shooting and but that was the extent of his budget so budget's critical so it comes with allen keys allen keys great for fitting to the bow then you've got this here so we've got i'll just open this up so you can see it so for me price point is literally everything so this is a arm bear with me while i work this out <laughs> this is an arm that i'm gonna guess bolts on like that somehow like that so you can extend this back now why would you want to do that so there's a whole bunch of people who believe in torque tuning your bow and what that is is you apply pressure to your hand grip when you shoot and you see where the arrow impacts the target now the theory is if you move this backwards and forwards you can get the arrow to impact the same spot regardless of the amount of torque you have on the bow now I haven't actually done it myself, but I know a whole bunch of people who do. This is for basically moving the blade backwards on the bow. It's a nice fitting, nice machining um, there, little locks point, but very clever um, locking point there. And you can see where you lock it onto the bow there. So I'm guessing, because the people at Toe Point are pretty smart, I'm guessing all the bits here uh to lock it on um which is good like it's really good it comes with a spare blade this is interesting so the blade the blade fitting itself is square now i'm going to say that's a that's a problem so now there's two types of blades on the market there's one which is like a hexagonal um pattern which is used by aae um, and there's a normal trophy taker with the two screw on bits. Now, if you go away from that, which Toe Point have done here for this rest, then when you need a replacement blade, one of those, you'll need to go for a Toe Point blade. Now, I don't even have those in my shop. So I obviously need to get a whole bunch of these. Now, that's a problem for me because normally when you buy these, they come in different widths depending on how wide your arrow is, and they come in different thicknesses. So you see this here, this is 0.25. So that's like a 0.25 is like a 10 thickness in a normal trophy taker torque. So I'm guessing this one here, let's zoom in because my eyes are not great anymore. That's a 0.3, so that's like a 12. Now there should also be a 0.2, which would be equivalent of an eight. Now this is based on the weight of your arrow. So 0.25, which is on there, that's your normal weight arrow. The 0.3 is a heavy arrow, which you might use for indoor, or let's say you're shooting, you know, heavier arrows. I'm not sure why you're shooting heavier arrows. Clout, clout use heavier arrows. 
but this is a very narrow blade so this is for obviously your thin carbon arrows so mental note I have to talk to Toe Point about buying a whole bunch of replacement ones of these and it's very likely they do not have them in the different widths but I need to check that this product has only just been released right so a bit about it um, that's a locking screw there micro adjustment there um, it's got locking on the side and then so you can micro adjust it left to right through that bolt there and then this bolt here is up or down this is very similar in style to the AE Pro Blade um, the whole look and feel of it obviously it looks and feels a bit different the design is different um, that screw there which is part of the blade there is to change the angle on the blade up and down um, I generally run at an angle like that sometimes I've run a little bit less like probably around there um, so a bit about blade rest they're used by the majority of target archers the majority of target archers will use a blade because it's simple nothing to go wrong um, drop aways are very rare in target but they are they do get used but I'm going to say 95 percent of target archers will use a blade rest uh, now just price comparison um, the cheapest blade rest on the market is probably going to be around the 40 Australian dollar mark um, there's a few companies who make a blade arrow rest around that price point the top of the, the top end blade arrow rest is going to be around 200 which is the AAE blade arrow rest um, Bider is going to be around the 200 maybe 250 I don't know how much this rest is um, because I haven't put it online yet I literally just saw it and I thought well I've got to do a review um, on it now um, I'm gonna guess a price and generally my guesses are, are pretty good so I'm gonna guess it's gonna be half the price of an equivalent American product so that would put my price point at about a hundred dollars now at a hundred dollars it's gonna compete against the spot hog premiere the spot hog edge the spot hog infinity now at that price point i'm going to pick the spot hog product all the time because it has micro adjustment it's a known product to use the standard blades but let's say this rrs came down to 80 dollars then this starts to become a product which is more desirable because it's got the extension thing for torque tuning um, which is cool um, the blades the blades not being uniform and not being um, one of the standard blades is an issue um, but so really for me how this item sells will be based on price if toe point have priced this at the right right price point in the market it will sell if they don't price it at the right right price point it won't sell um, so again I'm gonna say if this if this rest is about a hundred you probably sell some of them because it's still cheaper than the spot hog um, but then the person who can't really afford the hundred dollar arrest is going to buy the forty dollar arrest clearly better than the forty dollar arrest um, so I'm gonna put it on a price point of you know ninety eighty dollars and that's where this will hopefully be be well placed in the market but a nicely finished product the micro adjustment settings on the side is nice toe point i'm going to say have really improved their brand their product range has gone through the roof their quality is going through the roof um they're delivering pretty quick there's a little locking screw there um that's for this blade here would i have any problems shooting this no i'd be happy to shoot it um now i have shot in the past i've shot the cartel crux blade rest which sells for about 45 50 dollars i think absolutely no issues with it and that uses a standard blade system this blade looks good it's just the question i have to ask is do the blades come in all different shapes and sizes and i've got to ask um toe point that question tonight obviously um and price this up and put this on the website anyway i'm stephen hand from archery suppliers i hope that's been beneficial beneficial this the toe point blade arrow rest it's literally in shops right now check it out thanks for watching bye